Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on differentiate a rather complicated function here. The trick is that it's not so much hard as in it's tedious and it's really important you have a system to keep track where you are. So this function is really uh, use the chain rule, it's just two steps basically. A uh, function of the derivative uh, using power rule says is half times whatever this thing is minus half because this one using power rule is half minus one. We found the power, that's minus half. And then you have to multiply two x plus one, x minus one, the whole thing, take a derivative. Okay, this is the chain rule part, and what goes inside is unchanged here. Okay, so first problem is you have to figure what this one out. Um, trade secret is this. When you have a complicated fraction or function, you're taking derivative off, it's really important that you set up the first step correct, because if the first step is not right, and then rest of the stuff, you're kind of wasting time, especially on the exam. I would also always advise students, if you can only get one step in, take 90% of your time, allocated time, do this first step correct. I'll give you almost 80% of the credit for it, because I know that this is the part I'm trying to test you. Can you actually take a derivative and show me what you're trying to do? Now, if you make error simplifying it, I'm a lot more leaning into than if you don't know where to set it up. Okay. Now, from here, next trick is this. You want to take the derivative of this one on the side, okay? because this thing is pretty messy. It's not hard, but it's really messy taking derivative of this one. Derivative of this one, we do have to use quotient rule, which says keep the bottom, square it, and the top is the messy one. Okay, you take derivative of the first term, which is two, leave the bottom alone, minus, leave the first one alone, and take derivative of the bottom. So there's two step process. Once again, keep the bottom, square it. And keep the, take derivative of the first term, and then leave the bottom alone. Minus, this is why it's important, you gotta take derivative of the top. You start from the top, let's think that way. All right, so from here, you have x minus one squared. Uh, all we have to do is really just simplify. Two x minus two minus two x minus one. So I have a, Let's see, two x cancels out, I have a minus three on top, x minus one squared. Okay, now, see, I did this one on the side, and then I'm gonna do is go back and say, all right, with this big thing, I calculated this one on the side. So even if I make a mistake, it's isolated my mistake. Okay, this one is minus half. I'm gonna write it in the form of, uh, let's see, probably not as good looking as I want it to be, but this is the correct form. It's one over whatever's thing in the bottom. And since minus half means I have a square root on it. All right, and then this term, since I calculated on the side, I don't have to write this big, long, ugly thing in the process of calculating the f prime here. I'm gonna just put simply the answer over here, x minus one squared. So I'm not only communicating what I know, I'm also helping the teacher or whoever is grading your paper to say, hey, I know what I'm doing. Even if I make a mistake, cut me some slack. Okay. All right, so minus this, um, let's see what I would do with this one. This is really a uh, not a pleasant looking thing. So let's uh, rationalize this whole thing by multiply this thing by itself. And then I have on the bottom is 2x plus one uh, x minus one without a radical root. Okay, so all I did is rationalize this big long step. And then times, uh, let's say I took care of three over there, so x minus one here. Okay. Now, if you stopped in this step, I don't think you'll lose too much points. Um, if you have time and then you would like to simplify a little bit more, um, you know, on the test, I don't, I don't usually force my student to simplify too far. All right, so multiplying the, this one out, let's see what I have. I have a big uh, radical on top, 2x plus one, x minus one. 
and then I have one that I can't cancel, so this one goes away, and on the bottom I have somewhat good looking x minus one. And that's my final answer. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything where I trying to okay. This one looks pretty good. F prime of x is this big long thing. Okay. Um that's a lot of work. Let's have a math read. If you know what this is, like I do, I feel old. All right, back to math. A um, couple tricks here, like I said. First step is the, the ultra-important step. If you set it up correct, you get 80% of credit. Um, second thing, if you have something messy, you need to do it on the side. Do it on the side. Then whoever is grading your paper and say, all right, I see where the mistake was. And when people, once they understand you, they're a lot more lenient, giving you credits. And then uh, lastly, let's see, and then anything else? Oh, I rationalized here. Um, this is more for cos cosmetic reason than more than anything else. Okay, so here's the final answer. All right, hope this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun. At least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if this has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.